I'm Froggy, and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. The forecast says snow on Tuesday? So we need to make sure our dolls are prepared. This week's My Froggy Stuff mashup is all about keeping your dolls warm this winter. From coats to capes, we got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am going to make a coat for a doll using fabric, buttons, a needle and thread, or a sewing machine. I start by folding over a piece of fabric, creating a fold along the top. Using a doll as a guide, cut a large rectangle with the doll's arms stretched out. With the doll's head just above the fold, make a small mark under the arm. And I made my mark a little bit away from the body because it's easier to size down than it is to size up. Repeat on the other side. Using a ruler, I lightly sketch from the mark to the end of the material. Draw another line going down. Repeat on the other side, making a shape that looks like the letter T. Cut around it, leaving a little extra for a seam allowance. Draw a line down the center. Cut on the line drawn, being careful not to cut the bottom layer. Stop at the fold, then make two small angled cuts at the neck. Trim it from the back at a slight curve. Cut another rectangle of fabric that extends beyond the top of the coat. Stitch around the edges to prevent them from fraying. If using a sewing machine, I would go around the edges with a zigzag stitch. Open the coat to lay it flat. Place the rectangle on top, lining up the bottom edge. Flip it over, making sure to keep everything in place. Pins can be used to hold them together. Starting at the bottom, I am going to sew a straight line all the way around the edge using a needle and thread or a sewing machine. Once sewn, cut up the center to separate the sides. Make small cuts around the curve of the neck, flip the material over the edge, then iron it flat to keep it neat. I take the opening for the neck, stretch it out, Take a measurement for the collar, which in my case looks like about three inches. Then I'm gonna add another half an inch for a seam allowance. Fold over a piece of fabric and cut at the measurement. Sew down the sides and across the bottom, stopping in the middle, so it can be flipped inside out, just like a pillow. Use a needle and thread to close the opening. I take the collar and sew it to the edge of the neckline. Using a needle and thread, I go between the layers to come up through the seam. Then push the needle through a tiny bit on the edge and go back down and just work my way across back and forth, sewing it right at the edge until the collar is fully attached. Then lay out the coat with the good side facing up, cut a rectangle of fabric, fold it in half, line up the raw edges with the end of the sleeve. Sew a straight line across and finish it with a zigzag stitch. Then straighten out the material to reveal a clean edge. Repeat for the other sleeve, fold it over so the good side is on the inside, and line up the edges. Sew a straight line from the edge of the sleeve all the way down the side. Try it on the doll for size. Now's the time to make adjustments where needed. Trim off the excess, making small cuts in the corners to release the tension. Hem the bottom. I chose to continue the hem going all the way around, up the sides, around the edge of the collar, and then back down to make the edges lay flat. Turn the coat right side out, flip over the collar and lapel, iron flat to make a simple coat. Sew on rectangles of fabric, only on three sides, leaving the top open to make pockets for a lab coat. Make it a different color and add a long strip of fabric for a belt to make a trench coat. We even added small strips on the sides for belt loops. If the dolls need more room around the midsection, I cut the sides at an angle. Sew on small buttons for added detail to make a designer coat. I can change the neckline for a softer look, cut a rectangle of fabric, fold it in half, making sure it can fit around the doll's head. Sew a straight line along the raw edges, leaving an opening in the middle so it can be flipped inside out. Stitch the opening closed. Once sewn, fold it over. Stitch up the side opposite of the fold to make a hood. 
Sew it onto the neckline, just like the collar, to make a raincoat. Have fun altering this design to make a coat for any occasion. And you're done. Happy crafting! We've got a fabulous, fun, easy felt project today. All you're going to need is a piece of felt, some thread, a button, and some needles. Place your doll on the felt. Draw an oval around her that goes out to her wrist. Then cut it out. Then place your doll back into the center of the oval and mark where her shoulders are. Cut out a small circle where you marked. Slide her arms through the holes. Flip the top around her shoulders to make a collar. Use chalk to mark a spot where you should place your button. Thread a needle with some coordinating thread. Tie the end. Sew your button into place. Tie and cut your string. Cut a hole in the other spot that you marked. Make sure it is big enough to slide your button through. And you're done. I'm going to make a hooded cape for a doll using fabric, hook and eyes, needle and thread, buttons, and a sewing machine. The fabrics that I am going to use are a crushed velvet, um, also called penne, and a velveteen. I like these because you don't have to hem the edge, but you can if you want to. I start by cutting two large rectangles, one for the head and one for the body. To get my measurements for the body of the cape, I just took a tape measure and went around her body two times. Then I found the length. I used my tape measure to frame the shape of the hood and find the depth. For a seam allowance and a possible hem, I may add about an inch to my measurements. This is the piece I'm going to use for my hood and I'm going to go ahead and hem it. So I'm going to fold this edge down and run a straight stitch across. hem the sides and bottom of the body portion of my cape as well, but not the top. Now it's time to assemble the cape, whether you're working with one that's been hemmed or one with a raw edge. I start by taking the rectangle for the head and folding it in half, with good side to good side. Here's my folded edge, and I'm going to run a straight line across this side, leaving this part open. And to keep it neat, I go over the edges with a zigzag stitch. On a hood that is hemmed, I would sew the side opposite of the hem. Once it's been sewn, I set the hood aside. For the body of the cape, I am going to sew a very loose, straight stitch all the way across the top. I used a machine, but this can be sewn by hand. I take my strings and gently begin to pull one until it starts to gather. I continue to gather until it is the same length as the bottom of my hood. With good side to good side, I lay the hood on top of the body portion of the cape and pin them together. Now I can sew a straight stitch all the way across. I remove the pins, trim off the excess, 
and finish the edge with a zigzag stitch. I use a needle and thread to stitch on a hook and eye, knot and cut the ends, give it your own style by adding buttons or ribbons, and you're done. Happy crafting! outside. So we are going to make a simple coat for our dolls by modifying our sleeveless doll jacket. We made that video in 2011. So chic. So we are going to use the same idea to make our coat with a few changes. I start by cutting a rectangle that can wrap around the doll and overlap. Use chalk to make a mark behind the arms. Cut a small hole at the places marked. These are the armholes. And I like to try it on the doll to make sure it's a good fit. Take the leftover felt. Cut two rectangles that are about the length of the doll's arm. Fold them in half and cut one side to make a curve. Using a needle and thread or a sewing machine, sew a straight line across the flat side. This adds a little detail and prevents the felt from stretching. Fold it over to make a cuff. Then fold the whole thing in half with the cuff on the inside. so a straight line across, stopping at the curve. Trim off the excess thread. Carefully turn it inside out to make a sleeve. Take the sleeve, push it through the armhole, line up the edges, Use a needle and thread to sew a straight stitch going all the way around. Tie a knot the thread and trim off the excess to attach the sleeve. Then repeat. We're Santa's little helpers, we make the wheels go round. Day and night, night and day, here in Christmas town. To make the other sleeve, try it on the doll. Fold over the top edge to make a collar. Here I can get creative. I can trim the collar to make it round or to make it shorter. And I'm positioning it at an angle so it's a little tighter around the neck and loose at the bottom. After it's been trimmed, remove it from the doll. Sew a straight stitch all the way around the edges. You can use a sewing machine or sew it by hand. Mark a place for a button, cut a small hole, sew around the edge, make sure the button can pass through, sew the button on the other side to make the coat. You can modify the design in a number of different ways to make different styles. Add rectangles of fabric to the sides for pockets. Cut out two hood shapes, sew them together, around the curve, open it, and sew a line across the top. Turn it right side out, sew it under the collar using a needle and thread, add faux fur across the front to make a fur hoodie. You can have fun making this jacket however you choose. And one of my favorite things about this jacket is that you can position it to make it look like it's blowing in the wind. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff and the frog blog. If you make this fabulous felt coat, post a pic using hashtag myfroggystufffanpics. And you're done. Happy crafting! Thank you for joining 
us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my Froggy Stuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!